access database uh, please open your access database and they are going to create some tables and do some normalizations on these tables okay so here is my database and I'm going to open the blank database here click on it and you can name this uh, I'll call this uh, uh, teachers underscore students uh, students and the uh, course courses okay right so create the database okay now let's create tables here I'll call table number one here I'll call this table students Okay, let me just put okay table student there uh, student ID so I'm going to demonstrate how to do normalizations on uh, this access database so student ID and then we have a, a student name there and we have a student last name. Okay, we have a student a DBO date of birth. I'm going to have date of birth is a, a date and time there. Okay, so the key you see there is a primary key on database. So we have a, we have first name we have last name and we have a date of birth there okay I'm going to save a table and create another table uh, okay right click on it design and name this table so this time this table we name this table uh, causes okay Right, so ID there say poses ID again poses here. Let's say poses there. Okay, save this. All right, let's create another table, and this time we call this table uh, co teachers. So Table teachers. Okay, so teachers ID. Okay, teachers name and teachers last name. Okay. And teachers DOB there okay and uh, badge okay badge okay save this all right so basically we're going to demonstrate how a teacher uh, can have uh, many students and can teach in many classes uh, so can have many students and uh, I'm going to demonstrate uh, normalizations how a student can attend a student can attend many uh, courses can have many courses and uh, one student can have uh, many teachers yeah that's database normalizations okay now we're going to create uh, another table here. Uh, another table here. And design. So this table, I call this masters. So this is our masters table. Okay. All right. On our masters table, I'm going to have. student ID 
and uh, we to have this as a number instead of primary now we're going to have uh, Mr. Teacher's ID there. Yeah, we're going to have Teacher's ID. Also, as a number, and uh, we're going to have Coach's ID there as well. Coach's ID as a number as well. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to have all these number, all these. Uh, we're going to put them into a primary key. Have them as a primary key. So control select. So control shift, uh, shift and select. Right. Save that. Okay. Now we're going. Uh, on our student here, I'm going to get the names for student. Okay, so first student here is Kuku, and uh, last name is uh, Dume. And I'm going to have a uh, and uh, date of birth here. I'm going to select as okay. Ninety-five, yeah. All right. That's the first student, and I'm going to have the second student. I'm going to have, uh, yeah, Mbuzi there. I'm going to have Mbuzi, and the last name. I'm going to have uh, there. I'm going to have a third student. So let's call this uh, uh, Kilima, and uh, we have the last name as. Uh, Lima, okay. Little bit there. Any, so the born in uh, 2000. Let's say this one was born in, uh, okay, 99. Okay, right. So we have three students there. Now, let's go to our courses there. All right. Going to have a first course, uh, let's say Swahili is our first course, and we have maths and uh, okay, and uh, Swahili we have a course of Swahili, a kind of course or class. So we have courses of uh, yeah, English, and we have another one of uh, here. Uh, let's call this maybe uh, Spanish. Yeah? Spanish. Okay. So we have Swahili, Maths, English, Spanish. Yeah. There. So we have four courses or classes there. Now let's go to our teachers there. This teacher, I'm going to call him Chuki. Last name Mbolea. So we have uh, it's DOB, so say 05, 05, 1991, 1992. There. Okay, let's save. I'll show you why it doesn't give us a, a selection date here because on our database here, on our DOB, I just put short text, but still we can change this to date and time and then next time we select should give us uh, what we want okay so we call badge 100 uh, 100 okay let's call another uh, teachers here let's give him the name of uh, uh, okay let's call him Moshi Right, uh, last name here, we call him um, Kingunge. And then DOB, see there, select is uh, 1950, badge 101, 101 there. Okay, so we have two teachers there.
let's just have them two teachers there now the most interesting um, thing here we go on database tools and uh, we have to uh, select uh, these course uh, masters we have to link uh, okay we have to create a what you call a database relationship there okay so we're saying a course link with uh, course is there so creating a relationship here Okay, it's telling me to close some closes there, some tables. Okay, let me close some tables. There. Save there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna link uh, cause with cause there. ID. And I'm gonna link student with student there. This is a relationship. We're creating a relationship. Okay. And uh, we're going to uh, link this teachers with teachers there. All right. So we have our relationship set up. Now we are ready to go. Okay, let's go on uh, our master table there. That's where we can uh, create our normalization there, our link there. Okay, so I'm saying teacher ID number one uh, should have student ID number two okay so uh, so uh, let's say okay let me start this. student ID number one can have teacher uh, number two and can have course number one so basically what I'm saying is that uh, student number one uh, this student cuckoo we say there's a relationship already there so I'm saying cuckoo yeah cuckoo I'm saying this student let me save that I'm saying this student cuckoo is enrolled on this course yeah course number one that's what I'm saying a course uh, course number one and uh, who is uh, cuckoo's teacher so I'm saying his teacher should be ID number two is Moshi there. That's what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm saying again, student number one is enrolled on course number one. Uh, on uh, it's got a, a teacher number one and is enrolled on course number two. Student number one again is got teacher number two on course number three that's what I'm doing so this this student you can see uh, the number of times I've added this uh, student ID here is three times so this means this student has got two different teachers and I've got three different courses okay the same we can do for student uh, number two Student number two uh, has got teacher number one. Student number two has got course number one. Student number two uh, is enrolled. Uh, uh, he's got this teacher number one again, number one. Or oh, let's put number two on course number three. It's enrolled on course number three and uh, again this student number two uh, is good teacher uh, number one and enrolled on course number two there so this student is enrolled on different classes has got different teachers so that's a normalization and uh, to avoid the information repeating itself that's normalization now to see the effect of this normalization let's do something here let's close this 
save everything there yeah we know that uh, this teach this uh, we know that here we have uh, you can see our relationship is telling us how many uh, this student is good this student number one is good teacher number two yeah is good cause uh, number one and is good cause number two on teacher number one and is good cause number three on teacher number two different teachers and different classes right so we're going to create uh, something we call um, a query so we're going to create query right so click on query design there select course select masters select student and the select teachers right so we're going to create our query here see the effect uh, of this normalization okay this is the relationship of our tables so we're going to say okay we want the student name uh, last name and date of birth I uh, want te uh, teacher's name last name and uh, badge number we don't need this uh, date of birth and uh, we want the cause right so we're going to create the relationship there we're going to save this okay so this, this query student teachers and classes save that we have our query here so let's close the relationship there we we'll create create query as well go and form I'm going to create small form here based on this okay so this is our form based on uh, the query there and it's showing us everything there all right so let's save this form let's save it as it is so the form there except form save the form and there you can see our form there right so we have a quick form there a query student teachers class and let's add something here and say here we say you can add add new that is you can add some information there right okay let's come down here let's add some button on this form okay come on design and they're uh, going to have the button we're going to add a button here Okay, so we're going to say uh, we're going to um, okay, so we're going to add new record on this form. Okay, text choosing text. Okay, and then say add. Okay, so it's going to be add button. Just yeah, I'm going to add add. Let's go again on design. Let me add something else. Okay, there. Let me add save. I'm going to add save button there. Again, text. I'm not choosing any any icons. Right. Okay, so this will be. Ah, uh, save. We already have add, so we choose save. Okay, so we have two buttons here. We have add. So let's go and let's see there. Now, see we have our two students there. So we can navigate here. We can go here to see the next. This is one, and that is two, and that is three. Yeah. This is how many how many uh, courses every student has see right so let's add new information there okay so we're adding a new student and we call a new uh, student let's call this uh, Mickey 
first name Mickey and last name Moko. Okay, date of birth here. Let's choose. And then they will say he was born in 1997. Okay. And then we choose teacher. So here, because uh, we have three, we have uh, two teachers there. We have also teachers because we have two teachers here. So we don't want to add. Uh, we can add the new teachers if there's a new teacher, but we don't want to add any new teachers here. So here, let's go here, uh, right click, design here. We need to get from, we need to select from the teachers available. So let's just design here. And let's remove this. Okay. And then let's go here, down design. Uh, we're going to create a combo here. Select so combo there. Okay, let's go on uh, teachers there. Okay, teacher ID there. I'm going to click uh, on the teacher's ID there. That's uh, one teacher's ID. Uh, first name, last name. There will be a badge or just let's just go back and just let's click teacher's ID there. Okay, go. Teachers there. All right, so let's go. Let's click uh, teachers ID and then call this. It's a label, so call it label. Okay, teachers ID. Yes, finish. All right. Now this one you can. You can grab this, just grab this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we replace that back and let's go and our form there. So instead, okay, let me go back. Okay, so, right. So we're adding a new record there. Okay, again, let's say uh, Mickey, uh, last name Moko. And date of birth, we say 97. And then teacher here. Instead of uh, adding a new teacher, we're going to select from the available teacher. We say teacher number one. And then you can see teacher number one is this one here. It's Mbolea and the badge ID number one. Yeah. So the same here on a course. We can do the same here. All right, so let's right click again, go to the design, right click again. Okay, we can save this. Okay, that's fine. Let's close. Yes, save. Right, okay. Design there. Let's go here. Let's just call this teachers there. Teachers ID there. So they say teachers uh, ID there. Okay, now we're going to call this here like we did before. Yeah, we're going to remove this. Course is there. Let's go on our design there. Again, let's go on our combo box. The combo box come there. Okay, let's go on the courses. There's a course selected. Good. This time I'm going to click course name, course ID, and course name. Okay, let's select here how we want it. Ascending is a course ID and course name. Next. Now, uh, uncheck this. Then you can adjust uh, the size here, the width here. All right, go. And we wanted to select the course ID from the courses here. I'm going to choose course ID. Cause ID next. Okay, we're going to label this as okay causes ID. Finish. Again, I'm going to grab this. 
in the place of there, they will drop it there. Okay. Then here this uh, if it's a cause causes there. Save. Okay, let's go to our form. Check our form there. Okay, it's gonna start. It's gonna ask us to start all over. Now you see we have two drop down there, and there we have another one for the course. Now this time you can see that we have Swahili there, math, English, and Spanish. Okay, now let's add uh, another record there. Again, uh, we call this uh, Mickey. First name student, last name Moko, and the uh, date of birth here. Uh, again, 97. Yeah. Or you can put whatever you like, 27. Now, the teachers, uh, which teachers, uh, I'm going to choose F, teacher number one. And you can see there, F, um, a teacher there, Bolea there. That's, our this, that's the teacher that is going to teach the student. And the course, I'm going to select Swahili. Right. So everything set. That's all we want. Now, save this. Right. Now this is an interest, interesting place. So let's close this. As soon as we save there, let's go. Uh, let's go on our uh, on our student table there. See, we have Mickey there. Yeah, because we enter two times there as uh, as we were correcting the the form. So we have two Mickeys there. We have Mickey Moko and we have Mickey Moko there. And then we have uh, Kilima uh, Alima Mickey. Moko and another Mickey Moko. So we have three students here. The times that we, uh, three times that we, we plug in data, data just came in. All right. Now we can see the student. Let's see uh, which course uh, the student. Okay, so that those two students have no courses because uh, which basically um, uh, we're playing with the forms and uh, uh, creating those uh, drop downs. But when you click on this one, we can see this. This one has got teacher number one. And that's called add code course number one right so this is how you can uh, play with forms and when you come here again you can see that student is there and then ne next so you can go to the next so say this student kukudume yeah this student has got uh, this teacher yeah so you can come here and uh, just add some okay so here you can say you can see the T there, uh, the T represents as uh, a teacher there. T last name is teacher last name, and we have the badge of this teacher, and we have the course number one. We can see the courses there that this student is enrolled on, the courses there. And this is just the, say this as a student. They're not important. We don't need this uh, student. It's a student ID. We know it's number one, and teacher ID is number two, and we know course is number one for this particular course. And when you go to the last, uh, last record there, and then we see Mickey there, and uh, Moko, last name Moko, date of birth there, teacher number one, uh, and teacher's last name is Mbolea there, badge number 100, blah, 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 so this is how uh, we do, and you can add as many information as you like from there, so here, we, can, can we see that one student can have many, can enroll in many courses, and can have many teachers, you know, teaching on those different courses there. <laughs> save there and if you go on these teachers as well we click on this relationship we can see that uh, for this for this teacher uh, for this teacher yeah Chuki Molea we have uh, this uh, course is, is, is teaching on this course course number two and course number one there and this good student number one student number two and the student number six enrolled on his classes yeah so that's how you do and for the last thing if we um, if we want to uh, go here again on this query here now when you open this query now here's a clear information you can see that uh, this uh, student last name there Kukudume, Kukudume, Mbuzi uh, you know student their last names little bit and uh, no, this is teacher. Uh, first name, last name, there. 
and the badges there and then the courses they are load on yeah and you can see there's a student yeah names and student last name the s is for student and the t is for teacher and teacher there uh, names and teacher last name and the, the teacher's badge and the courses that are teaching on those courses so this is how you can do um you can create tables in database and uh, access, access database and uh, create a relationship and uh, just connect uh, those relationships together thank you so much i uh, hope uh, it's been useful and uh, we'll keep doing more videos on access database